Fire Force is lit. Yep. That's my joke, everyone. No, but honestly, Fire Force is one of those shows where it catches your attention for good reasons, and then the more you keep watching it, the more you start seeing other stuff. Like, imagine watching the night sky when you don't see any stars, but then you start seeing stars. Those stars resemble the flaws of what this show actually has. Today I'll be discussing a few minor things that kind of bug me about Fire Force, while some aspects I really do enjoy. So Fire Force is about a guy named Shinra. Parents died, brother did, yada yada. They all got too lit one day and he's trying to take, I guess, revenge? I don't know. What caught my eye was it being firefighting, because I never saw a firefighting anime besides Promare. I never saw Promare by the way, but you get what I'm saying. The visuals are nice, but the way it's cut is a little off. For a little background context, dynamic cutting is when you cut to a subject when a subject either is either talking or something happens and you directly cut to it. Imagine there was five things a character did, and each thing the character did, it cuts to that thing. If a person says hello, the camera cuts to the person saying hello. In Fire Force, we see this, in my opinion, way too much. When someone talks, it cuts to the person. When someone does an action, they cut to the action. It's very dynamic. Dynamic cuts were a big thing because film was new and everyone enjoyed it. With non-linear editing, as in audio is still overlaying with a different cut, it adds atmosphere and adds de depth of field. Intercuts of close-ups. With the cutting that they do, sometimes close-ups and sometimes silent. It pauses the moment and it feels awkward, to say the least. <laughs> While the establishing scenes sometimes have vivid visuals, the intermediary cuts feel off. And each each anime does have its own little cliches here and there, and the cliche of, oh yeah, the girl falls into the guy, the guy actually touches his girl. It's very cliche, but with this one, Tamaki goes above and beyond. Like, I can't find a reason or explanation of how she happens to be the way she is. Because at the very first, it felt like the first donut where you like this thing, but then by the 10th one, you're sick of it. One thing Fire Force does right is the execution of big, vibrant scenes. With the fight against Shinra and that flower, the flower egg chick? I don't know, Hibana? Hibana Kabana? Takataka Kabana? When she used her attack and it shows like this tree, the visuals were great. And shot composition wise, it looked visually appealing. The colors were vibrant and everything. Again, contrasting to that, it ended with him talking. That goes into the other aspect of what I've been noticing in Fire Force. Fight scenes get overshadowed by long dialogue scenes where dialogue in, isn't necessarily bad, like the Tatami Galaxy and Monogatari series, a show like Fire Force, I would think, would revolve around action more than dialogue. Because I know dialogue is important, but the action should, even if it's slow, or even if the action isn't really too long, it should feel remembered. But for me, the action isn't remembered. What I remember the most is the awkward cuts, the fastness of the action and getting overshadowed by a dialogue afterwards. But it is running for 24 episodes and hopefully, maybe, I'm still watching because I do enjoy it. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. And I'm a guy, so Tamaki doing her own thing, I don't really mind it. Although, at some points, I'm kind of questioning myself as to why. Like, why though? <laughs> but yeah.